Picking up where the evening news left off, live pictures right now outside the U.S. Supreme Court. Crowds growing throughout the day. Nearly 50 years after the landmark Roe versus Wade ruling, justices appear to be ready to overturn the decision. We will fight like hell, not just for the women of Illinois, but for every person in our state and every person across this nation who believes not in limiting civil rights and human rights, but in expanding them. So you heard the governor there. In recent months, Illinois has solidified its status as a safe haven state for legal abortion. The CBS2 investigators previously exposed how more and more women are traveling here from states as far away as Texas, where there is a near total ban. Tonight, team coverage on the potential reversal. We start with CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey giving us a look at what this decision could mean for Illinois' sanctuary status. Megan. Right, Joe and Erica, as we know, Illinois passed legislation to keep abortion legal if Roe v. Wade were ever to be overturned. So while this doesn't change access for Illinois women, Planned Parenthood of Illinois tells me they are already preparing for a major influx of patients coming in from other states. We have increased and are increasing our capacity. When I talked to Dr. Amy Whitaker, chief medical officer for Planned Parenthood of Illinois back in October, they had already seen a 30% jump in out-of-state patients due to Texas's de facto ban on abortions. Now, Dr. Whitaker says they're preparing for the floodgates to open. We expect probably about two to five times uh, as many patients uh, to, for us to be seeing every year in the state of Illinois, throughout Illinois. Dr. Whitaker tells me it's something they've planned for, opening more and more clinics, in particular ones close to Wisconsin and Indiana's borders. They're also relying on access through telehealth appointments. But Whitaker worries that it's not the patients with the means to travel who will be impacted. The patients who are going to be most affected are, are, are patients who are already marginalized, patients who are already suffering from not having access to health care. How does it change what you Amy Gerke, executive well, director of Illinois Right to Life. The, the expected number of new women coming to our state for abortion is something to be very concerned about. Says her organization will be busier too, but for much different reasons. They award emergency grants to women seeking abortions for financial reasons. Our goal at Illinois Right to Life is to look for ways that we can expand our Project Love program to not only meet the needs of Illinois women, but those women who will be coming to our state seeking abortion and seeking help. Today, um, State Rep Kelly Cassidy, a Democrat representing the 14th District, there are more things we can do. encouraged creativity when it comes to the ways that Illinois can welcome patients coming here for sanctuary. In theory, like, hey, Alabama family, you're a teacher. We could make it easier for you to transfer your license and come be become an Illinoisan. Um, we can provide protections for the various providers beyond just the health care providers. Now, supporters on both sides of this issue were in agreement that while Illinois might have that safe haven status right now, that is not a guarantee moving forward, especially if the makeup of the legislature changes. Joe and Erica. Megan, thank you.